What's up, y'all? It's your man, that dude, bringing you guys another video. If you watch any of the videos on my channel, you know that I do not expect much from the Panthers this year. But the more I look at this offense, and specifically the offensive weapons that Baker Mayfield would have at his, will have at his disposal this year, I do think that this offense has serious potential to be dangerous. Now, whether that potential is actualized is a whole other matter. But just looking at on paper at the weapons that Baker Mayfield will have at his disposal, this can be a pretty pretty effective offense, a pretty dangerous offense, and a very dynamic offense. Looking at the running back position, you have Christian McCaffrey. If they lose, if they use the Vizca Chenault in the way that I want them to, then you will you will have Christian McCaffrey in the backfield alongside Chenault or Chenault subbing in for McCaffrey and doing kind of the, some of the similar things that McCaffrey does. If Chenault can learn how to block like a running back or block from a running back running back position, you have DJ Moore on the outside. We all know DJ Moore is a good receiver. The guy is. Very, very good. You know, he's like a, like a tier below the top five or ten receivers in the league. He's at next tier with the potential to be in that top tier. The, guy, the guy's really good. You have Robbie Anderson, who is a solid number two, I believe. A good speed receiver. Can, can run a lot of your deep routes. Can clear space for underneath routes. You have a Rashad Higgins, who has rapport with Baker Mayfield. He has that built-in connection from their time in Cleveland. He seems to have very short hands. He's a solid athlete, decent size. Terrence Marshall Jr., if he ever gets his act together, has all the potential in the world. Shai Smith has come on really strong in the preseason. The guy has shown that he deserves to be on an NFL roster. He has sure hands. He can make people miss. He's really dynamic and explosive. You have at the tight end position, I think they might have a diamond in the rope of Steph, uh, Stephen Sullivan. That guy can't block for anything. But as a receiving tight end, he has the athletic ability to be a mismatch nightmare. For a lot of linebackers and safeties, the guys like six four, six five, can run like a deer. If he can learn how to catch and run proper routes, he could be super dangerous. I just think the weapons that the Panthers have on his offense, they they have the weapons and the talent to be very dangerous. Now, whether or not the coaches can take advantage of that, whether or not Baker Mayfield can utilize those weapons properly, that's yet to be seen. But on paper, as someone who is, is not expecting much from Panthers this season, I see where they can be very dangerous. I see the potential they have to be a matchup nightmare for opposing defenses. Like, if you're an opposing defense and you have McCaffrey and Chenault in the backfield, what do you do with that? Especially if you motion McCaffrey out or you motion Chenault out. Maybe you throw some screens. You could, like, do some reverses, maybe a double reverse. What do your linebackers go in that situation? If you motion McCaffrey out, you have to go with him because McCaffrey runs routes as good as most wide receivers. And he has great hands. He's a very dynamic running back or dynamic playmaker overall. It's, 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 it's an insult to call him just a dynamic running back. The guy's a dynamic playmaker. If you motion Chanel out, while he was not great in Jacksonville as a receiver, he is still a, a former wide receiver or a wide receiver, however you want to put it. You got to respect him at least. You got to send somebody out there with him. With that, with that dynamic you have between those two players, I would hate to be a, a defensive coordinator, like trying to game plan for that and trying to plan around that. And that's not even adding in having DJ Moore already on the outside, having Robbie Anderson already on the outside. You have Robbie Anderson and be running a deep route, you know, maybe a go or a post or something, something like that. You have, you know, DJ Moore running the intermediate route. Then you have CMC or Chenault doing their things out of the backfield or maybe Tommy Trimble, Ian Thomas or Stephen Sullivan coming out from the tight end position. That, that's a lot of things for a defense to take account for. That's a lot of a lot of ways to find mismatch mismatches in the defense. You get McCaffrey on a linebacker, Chanel on a linebacker, or you maybe get DJ Moore on a linebacker if you know you run a um a pick route, rub route, something like that. There's so there's so many things you can do that can make this this offense dangerous if the offensive line can hold up and give Baker Mayfield more than two and a half seconds to decide where he wants to throw the ball. This really all hinges on the offensive line. I'm not a Baker Mayfield fan. But I think he is, at the very least, a solid quarterback. And if you give him enough time, you give him solid weapons, he can get things done. He can win you some games. So, to me, it all hinges on the offensive line. You have Ika Makunwa, Ika Makwanu. He's a rookie left tackle. I, If he struggles this year, it would not surprise me at all. Come on, he's a rookie left tackle, especially in his first game against Miles Garrett. That is some real trial by fire shit right there to go against Miles Garrett in your first NFL game. But along the offensive line, Taylor Moten, we know what he is. We know he's going to be solid. But besides Taylor Moten, everything else on this offensive line is a question mark. Now, it could be good. Like, on paper, it should be better than the offensive line we had last year. But they could be 50% better than the offensive line we had last year 
and that would still be an average to below average line. But with an average offensive line and the weapons that Baker Mayfield would have at his disposal, that could make for a fairly potent offense. So I'm starting to see how this Panthers offense can be dangerous. I'm starting to see how they can maybe put up a fair amount of points and be a good complement to what should be a good defense. And a team with a very good defense and a very good or solid to very good offense, that is a playoff continued team. Now, this is all, you know, I think best case scenario, in my opinion. I, again, don't believe the Panthers will make the playoffs this year. But I'm starting to see how some people can convince themselves that they will. That's all I have for you on this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go hit that thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Also, leave a comment. Do you disagree with me? Do you not think the Panthers have the chance to be a potent offense? Or maybe you think I'm selling them short. Maybe you believe they absolutely will be a dangerous and dynamic and potent offense. Let me know down in the comments. I respond to almost everything. And I'll see you guys in the next one.